so in this tutorial we will be learning about how to make the combination of profile and the uh, recarving in the same place so first thing is to open the art camp you can see here the uh, we in this tutorial we will be learning uh, some icons about the rotate and copy for generating vector design by using the black and white images as per the previous tutorials we are always using the black and white and the uh, bitmap images for our vector generation so just open the vector that you want to make okay. just open the uh, image in the art camp use bitmap to vector reduce the colors and uh, group and cut the vectors and uh, then finally you choose the model size that you are using for example, I am taking here as a 500 by 500 mm and the origin as a lower left corner. Now you can just uh, hold the Alt button and press F9 to make it at the center. Hold the Alt button and uh, then decrease the size. Now this middle design we will do the V-carving. For that we just uh, choose the V-carving. In the V-carving as in the previous tutorial we will be already seen. First we need to choose the V-carving tool. I am taking here as a we bit 32 and 90 degree and just refresh and you will get the maximum depth V for which we can do the perfectly finishing. So in the starting depth at 0 and then in the maximum depth you just put the 3. Now we will also do the profiling in the same. We just need to use some other vectors. Uh, I have already exported some vectors. We will just export that in this. So you can see the VCAR is generated here. Now we will just export. So you can see here some vectors. Star mark in here, right? So you can see here the vector is generated here and then and this vector and only select this now I will use this vector only for the rotate and copy use alt to perfectly move it uh, 90 degree horizontally and vertically. Uh, you can see here, and uh, to minimize the size, just use transform. 
both are the key and uh, decrease the size. Now to rotate and copy, you can see here there is a two. This is the rotate and copy, just select it and uh, ro choose the rotate copy and select the rotation center as uh, here. You can see, just select and uh, press the middle. And here you just give the angle as a 360 and uh, the, the copies that you want. Here I am choosing as a 4 and just say apply. Now you can see there are two copies are generated. Just group them. By holding shift key, just hold them and uh, give the separate tool path as for the profiling. Choose the inside vectors and uh, in the finish depth, this is a 12.2. So, in order to tool, so to go the throughout the material and choose the profiling tool as the element CMF. The tool selection depends upon the width of the vector generated after the conversion of the vector from the bitmap to vectors. So in the step down directly you can choose the 6.1 if the material is soft and uh, uh, if the material is soft you can choose 12.2 if the material is hard wood you can choose the 6.1 and here you can and just calculate now so now the tool part simulation simulate all tool parts with high detail so you can see here the at the middle we had did the v carving and uh, at the outside or the block and rotate copy we had did the profiling operation now we will just delete the waste material to do the final design. Okay, so this is the final product you can see here. Click the simulation and choose the material as a in the material you can choose the light oak or whatever the material you are using, you just need to choose that material. To have a look how it will be going to look after the design so here it will be looking like this to see the to save the toolpath you just need to go in the toolpath and the save toolpath as dot uh, mg file just you need to save in the new group 3axis dot mg or either you can choose also choose the model master 3axis dot mg in the file name you can input the material size and just uh, save the toolpath in the at the desktop you can save and then also you can see the how the toolpath will go at the time by using control bar can see here how the tool is going. Okay. So to know the how much time it will take in the toolpath, you can go in the toolpath summary and uh, you can see the time of the machine. You just need to know the how what the speed of time factor and the rapid rate you can input it as the speed rate that we are using. The time scale factor you have to uh, measure the x y and the z size and uh, the time to make one step or one step down that should be the uh, time factor here you can give the three and you can calculate this is the time to be made, around one hour it will take so i hope you like this video please find and subscribe and for more inquiries you can Made me on uh, lincmc.avi.gmail.com. Uh, for any inquiries related to pattern moving parts, then this is our factory address, uh, office address you can visit. And, uh, free, feel free to WhatsApp me. Okay, thank you.